Hello dear students very good morning to all of you my name is Rajneesh Tyagi and I welcome to you all once again for the online classes the chapter the portrait of the lady and this chapter is written by Khushwan Singh I told you before and it is going to be the third paragraph or third video of this chapter okay and you also know that this thing that we are talking about the grandmother which is known as the protagonist of this story a main character and we are talking about it and uh, along with her there is also a grandson and uh, the story is going to be begin and slowly slowly we are going to know all the things and the character sketch of those two people so here we go for the next paragraph let's start my grandmother and i were good friends okay so according to the story the grandmother and the grandson they were uh, having a very good understanding with each other they were uh, absolutely a uh, great friend and uh, the very good friend the grandmother of that boy behaved just like a friend my parents left me with her when they went to live in the city and we were constantly together okay because the parents of that uh, son the parents of that person left him when he was a, a small kid and from that time he is he used to living and he's living with a with his grandmother she used to wake me up in the morning and get me ready for school this is the tendency of the grandmother of that son that she a walk she woke up him in the early morning and got ready for the school also because she is having after all actually all the responsibilities for this boy that's why she's uh, doing a job like a mother she's doing a job like a father she's even also doing a job like a friend and uh, we can say this lady is going to play all the roles in the life of that son in the life of that person which was a strange and a great thing for for him also she said her morning prayer in monotonous sing song while she bath her bath it and dressed me in the hope that i would listen and get to know it by heart and she used to sing a morning prayer always in the morning and uh, she uh saying that prayer uh, to for this purpose only that the son can have a great character that a son can have a great morning and uh, uh, he knew that also this thing that uh, that the grandmother of this person wanted to make him understand that you should also learn this prayer and uh, you should learn it by heart who knows it that son i listen because i loved her voice but never bothered to learn it okay and uh, i used to listen this prayer in the morning because uh, i was habitual i love to hear it because the singing of my grandmother was absolutely fine it gave me a wonderful praises to my ears it poured some praises in my ears but i never bothered to her to learn to memorize it i never disturb him disturb her to learn it uh, but i could have easily listen the, the beautiful voice of my grandmother i used to listen it then she fetched my wooden slate which she had already washed and plastered with yellow chalk and she always fetched my uh, slates in the school's time uh, with a yellow chalk a tiny earthen ink pot and a red pen tie them all in a bundle and hand it and hand it to me and she all the things she she fetched all the things the slate the pen and uh, the ch all the things whatever the things are necessary the ink pot for the school all these things she tied them properly and give them give him a bundle to go uh, to school properly after breakfast of a thick stale chapati with a little butter and sugar spread on it and to the students it was uh, the it is actually the explanations of the olden times so that day and those times uh, those time those were the days i think uh, when you st kids used to eat uh, you kids used to eat early in the morning the um, the bread and the sugar on the bread and the butter also it and the children loved them uh, loved it at that time so uh, the, the grandmother of that son also the grandmother of this grandson also did uh, this activity and this she made chapati with the butter and she also pour this sugar on this chapati okay it uh, went uh, it went to school we well we went to school she carried several stale chapatis with her 
uh, for the village dogs. And you know what, what was the surprising things? Uh, she made the breakfast very good. Uh, she made the breakfast uh, delicious for the grandson, but along with him, she also carried many chapatis and breads for the street dogs. It means we can say that lady was a uh, pity lady that lady was a merciful lady and she realized all the problems along with his uh, along with her grandson because um, uh, she could have if she is going to bring some japatis for the street dogs it means she's thinking about all the things she's thinking about uh, the environment uh, whatever they had so dear students uh, the beautiful uh, chemistry in between the grandmother and the grandson is going on here and you can also realize you can also understand that uh, how things are beautiful whenever we have some relationship with our grandfather with our grandmother and uh, this is quite strange this is quite unique experience in life and we really want to have this experience dear students uh, still you are not uh, giving the answers in the comment box and uh, uh, this is my complaint. Please uh, give the answers in the comment box properly and uh, Because we will discuss about it in the classrooms also. Okay, so uh, This is also the uh, the question of the day is that that uh, the question is uh, Did Did uh, the grandson bother his grandmother okay uh, did she suffer from any problem this is the questions to all the students here and uh, just have a great day take care of yourself and uh, give the answer in the comment box i'm waiting there along with it uh, always write the explanations in your notebook also okay dear students have a great day we will meet with the next and their next video tomorrow till then take care have a great day take care bye bye